Hello, I'm Harville Hendricks. I'm Helen McKelly Hunt. And we are partners in life and work. And one of our works is to create a process of talking called safe conversations, which we recommend people use in these challenging times when conversations are difficult for lots of reasons. Being quarantined is enough. And some of us are in homes where sickness has occurred, the virus has invaded, and others are in homes where uh, someone has died. So we'd just like to make a, give you a tip today about how you might have a conversation about your sadness and your grief. And the first thing that we recommend is that when you want to talk about your feelings, your sadness, uh, ask the person you want to talk to for an appointment, which is, is now a good time to talk about how sad I am? or about the loss of, of whoever might, might be the case. It's really important to do that because the person that you'd like to share your thoughts with, they might be totally wrapped up in something that isn't life or death, but right. it's very important to them and they can't quite break away. Um, and so just uh, if you quote, ask for an appointment, other person can say, um, oh, you know, I'd really, really like to hear about that, but uh, could we do it in two hours? I'm just really wrapped up, and and in two hours, you'll have my undivided attention, and then it's a really important thing yeah. to do that, because uh, if you are, if you know someone who's near death or dying, you really do need someone to listen to your feelings yeah. so it's a really wonderful thing to use safe conversations around and and when you start talking i do another thing we suggest and we call it uh using i language that is talk from yourself from your heart from your feelings use the word i think i feel i'm sad i can't believe this happened rather than using you in terms of describing the other person about whatever the word you tends to put people on the defensive. So we call that being a responsible sender. And what about um, when um, uh, somebody is talking to you? They ask you for an appointment and they've been sending a responsibility. We suggest what we call mirroring. That is, whatever they say, say back to them, let me see if I got that. And then tell them back what you heard. And when they, uh, and then you could say, well, is there more about that? and listen more rather than uh, taking the place of the sender and talking about your own feelings. And keep saying, is there more about that? Until the person says, no, that, there's no more about that. Then say, well, thank you for sharing. Now, uh, and if you want to, then you can say, now can I talk and you listen to me like that. And that will help both persons talking calm down. You'll calm your brain. You'll be able to engage and connect around sadness or any other topic you want. We wish you well as you deal with each other in your home and around sadness and loss in these terrible times. Mm -hmm. Thank you and goodbye. Our prayers are with you. Indeed.